Today, AMD finally announces their mobile processors from the 5000 series for laptops, as well as a couple of processors for the desktop, some budget versions of the 5900X and 5800X. We'll have a look at that and we're gonna be talking about the major keynotes of the AMD showcase at the CES 2021. So stay tuned for that. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new videos. Thank you guys very much for watching and let's go. AMD CEO started the company highly anticipated CES 2021 keynote with some discussion about the importance of high performance computing and the gaming industry in general. She talked about the latest AMD powered game consoles and the recent launch of the Radeon RX 6000 series, otherwise known as Big Navi. Over the course of her initial talk, she revealed that RDNA 2 equipped gaming laptops and mainstream Radeon RX 6000 graphic cards were coming at some point in the first half of this year. She even showed off an RDNA 2 gaming laptop running a Dirt 5 at 1440p with the high quality image settings at over 50 frames per second. Some updated Ryzen 5000 series desktop processors were also announced. Reduced TDP versions of the Ryzen 9 5900X and Ryzen 7 5800X desktop processors with 65 watt TDPs. Named the Ryzen 9 5900 and AMD Ryzen 7 5800 accordingly. They are common to a pre-built OEM systems. And the Threadripper Pro, which had previously been a Lenovo exclusive, will be made available to customers through participating global retailers. For those unfamiliar with Threadripper Pro processors, they are essentially rebranded Epic processors, destined for high-performance professional workstations. Threadripper Pro processors offer up to 64 cores, 128 threads, 8 memory channels, 128 PCIe Gen 4 lanes, and AMD Pro security features enabled. But the real star of the show, however, was the new Ryzen 5000 series mobile processors. Like their desktop counterparts, Ryzen 5000 series mobile processors are based on AMD's excellent Zen 3 architecture, which offers great performance and efficiency improvement over Zen 2. In total, there are 13 processors in the initial Ryzen 5000 series mobile processor lineup, most of which are Zen 3 based. All of the processors are manufactured at 7 nanometer, and the top SKUs continue to have a maximum of 8 cores and 16 threads. Like the 4000 series, Ryzen 5000 series mobile processors are split into an H and U series parts. The H series are the higher performance processors for gaming notebooks and mobile workstations, while the lower power U series target thin and light laptops and aim at the extended battery life. At the top of the stack is the Ryzen 9 5980HX. The Ryzen 9 5980HX is an 8-core 16-thread processor with 20 MB of cache and a 4.8 GHz max boost clock and a more than 45 Watt TDP. The 5980HS is essentially the same processor scaled back slightly to hit the 35 Watt TDP. And as we can see, the similar trend goes through the rest of the stack with HS 35W and H 45W processors, similar configurations with different frequencies. The top end HX 45W Plus processors are also completely unlocked for desktop like overclocking. AMD claims that those processors will be in the lion's share of high end gaming laptops of 2021. The Ryzen 5000 H series consists solely of 6 core 12 thread and 8 core 16 thread processors. The Ryzen 5000 U series, however, scales from 4 cores 8 threads up to 8 cores 16 threads. The U series processors are also a little bit tricky because they have 3 processors that are based on the older Zen 2 architecture. And they also have different amount of cache, CCX configurations and different features. The Ryzen 3 5300U, Ryzen 5 5500U and Ryzen 7 5700U are all Zen 2 based. The Ryzen 5 5600U and Ryzen 7 5800U are all new Zen 3 based processors. In terms of their feature set, the processors based on Zen 3 also have double the L3 cache versus Zen 2 and the unified 8 core CCX config versus the dual 4 core CCX. AMD is claiming big performance gains across the board. Ryzen 5000 series mobile processors offer significantly better single and multi-thread performance versus their predecessors. And AMD is claiming U-series supremacy in productivity workloads with ultra-thin notebooks versus Tiger Lake from Intel. 
AMD is also making a bold performance claim with their HX and HS series Ryzen 5000 processors. Versus Tiger Lake and Comet Lake, AMD data shows the Ryzen 9 5980 HS and the Ryzen 9 5900 HX outpacing Intel's current best in both single and multi-thread workloads. And apparently all this performance increase doesn't come at the expense of battery life. AMD is claiming Ryzen 7 5800U based notebooks will offer up to 17 and a half hours of battery life during general use and up to 21 hours during movie playback. Those numbers are captured on the Ryzen 7 5800U based machine with a 53 watt hour battery and 1080p display during video playback or running mobile mark 2018. So having this all new Ryzen 5000 series mobile processors, AMD is actually resulting in expansion of its mobile portfolio with 150 Ryzen 5000 series mobile system on the way with availability starting next month. Which is great, this is what we've been expecting for. Have more AMD based machine to bring the diversity to the market so you can choose which one you wanna go with. So very nice. I'm really excited to see how, when those laptop processors are gonna be finally available so we can actually see how they perform in the real life performance versus like whatever they put on the paper. But so far, having these numbers on the paper really looks great. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys soon. Take care, bye-bye.